Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 7, I believe, of the Eye for an Eye Beastman campaign. So in the last episode, you've seen as we had the closest battle I think I've ever had in Total War history, where we fought Boris for the first time at Schwarzmarkt, and holy cow, we somehow pulled off a victory by being carried by my characters, pretty much. That was absolutely brutal. Um, but yeah, now we have time to lick our wounds, we're gonna recruit some new units. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get back at Toddbringer the Bastard for, uh, for destroying our once great Warherd, basically. Um, Malagor's just trying to get away and survive. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Middenheim is definitely gonna feel our wrath soon enough. Um, Middenheim is number two. Who's the strongest faction? Someone else has become the strongest faction. Who could have became the strongest faction? Oh, actually, there's all this over here that's owned by, uh, Hawkland. So maybe they're the strongest now. That's probably what it is. But damn, man, that was crazy, that battle last episode. All right, so Malagor is being chased. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want to fight that. No thanks. Oh, but he's going to get it anyway because you can't fucking retreat in Total War. I forgot. Oh, well, Malagor's army's dead. It's, that's safe to say. He can't win this. Ah, uh, no. I, I don't know. The wizards aren't too bad, but the fact that they have a level 10 flying uh, hero like their infantry wouldn't do shit their cavalry would probably mess me up um, yeah well I guess, I guess we'll try it but I I can't I wouldn't be able to say that we'll win I don't have units fast enough to take out their artillery and stuff so yeah I think we're screwed But we'll see. If I have, um, is it's nice that at least Kazrak's army survived. If I lose Malagor's, it's not, a, it is a big deal. But it's not like the worst deal, I guess. Uh, I hope, I hope we don't lose Malagor though. It's just so stupid that you can't retreat at all in this game. It's so dumb. You can't get away from anybody. It sucks. It really sucks. But we already talked about that last episode, so whatever. It is what it is. It's just we might have to deal with losing Malagor's army, and that would suck major, majorly bad. It would really suck. And I would prefer if it didn't happen. But who knows? Um, the mix of the Minotaurs... The, the mix of the Minotaurs, what am I saying? The Minotaurs might be able to win this battle for us. And I only, I don't have any spells for Malagor, I don't think. Oh, yes, I do. All right, so I have Vile Tide, so that's the explosion, and Devolve. So Devolve might help us. We might be able to do this because of Devolve, but I have no idea. All right, I need to try to start as close to them as possible so that their artillery don't have a chance to really do much. All right. Oh, the Empire Knights are going to wreck me. Shit. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Yeah, all, all their mages are going to wreck me. Ooh. Ooh, that did a lot. I don't think we're gonna win, but we're doing a lot better. Oh my Jesus Christ. 
We're doing a lot better than I thought, at least. Oh, yeah, the, more, the Minotaurs are just getting absolutely destroyed. God damn it. Let's try fighting them a little bit. Oh, well, we are breaking almost all of them. Those goddamn knights are like invincible, though, which is ridiculous. That's what's gonna make us lose. Yep, the Empire Knights are ridiculously powerful. swords are unstoppable with these units and the whole army's routing yeah that's not really surprising oh well well he lost Malagor Whatever. So stupid that units break so much in this. If they all just broke at the same time, I wouldn't have lost so much. I lost 922 goddamn guys because the fact that they just break for five seconds and then come back and just get shot to shit. It's so dumb. The morale system is really bad in this. Ever ever since ever since Attila when they introduced that whole breaking multiple times and coming back bullshit, I, it, bleh, it's an I don't like it. If a unit breaks, it should stay broken. It's one of my one of the biggest gripes with the two newest games, in my opinion. But oh well, I still love Attila and Warhammer, so oh well. But like, look at that fucking Luminarch of Hish, Hish, whatever, ninety five kills. That thing's supposed to kill giants and, like, nothing else, and yet it's, oh, it's so dumb. And they're spamming them, which is annoying. That one army had three of them, didn't it? Like, before. So stupid. So, 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 so stupid. It really is. Malagor, 71 kills, though. That's pretty good. But yeah, he should be able to get away. Or is it because I ran, by ran, I mean two, like got away by two feet. Since I ran, I'm not going to be able to retreat after this battle. He's just going to be wiped out. Is that how it's going to work? Because that's not how it works against the AI, but I'm sure that's how it works against the player to be challenging, right? Yeah. I'm sure that's what will happen. We'll watch Malagor die and his army will just be destroyed, which is dumb, but oh well. If the loading will ever finish, there we go. But yeah, I'll probably lose this army. Yep. Oh, that's so stupid, CA. Why? Why is that a fucking thing? The dumbest system ever. All right. How's Kazrak's army looking? Shitty. I'll ignore that. So, like, am I hidden? Like, you're supposed to be hidden until discovered, but that hasn't worked so far. I don't know. There's something I can build. Um, what would I want? I could get this to recruit Centigors, and that would be useful. Yeah, we'll get it. I can't believe I lost Malagor's army. That's so dumb. 
He wasn't wounded in battle. It's just a dumb s system that CA put against the player. Because you can chase down enemy fucking AI armies all goddamn day, but as soon as yours gets caught once, it's like, nope, you're just getting destroyed. I don't care. Ripper horns were destroyed. Um, yeah, I don't need growth, so I'd rather I'd rather the replenishment. Yeah, that's gonna replenish us a lot. I'm definitely killing that fucker. Oh, we also got a new Bray herd. All right, that's good. But yeah, I am killing that fucker down there. Oh, look at that! That replenishment though. Um, but yeah, I'm getting down here and I'm killing him. Let me guess, walls here. Oh no, actually, it's just his army and a crappy little garrison. I will not obey. Yeah, you're not gonna survive much from this one. Um, would I be able to take this place, or is it like super? Yeah, it's super defended. Fuck that. Oh, I'm still replenishing even without being in camp, so that's good. Malagor is ready for duty again, but he's not really gonna be able to do anything. F fight me if you dare. Oh shit. Um, we could get sacrificed to more sleep. We do have enough money for it, but it, see that doesn't really do anything though because yeah, I don't really care. Uh, let's get more missile damage. It's nice that our army's back to full strength again. Oh, he's running away. What a little baby. I'll raise all your cities. And I'll defile them. Uh, let's see. Let's, 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 let's. What, what are we doing? Let's continue upgrading that. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're strength for. The red horns are more. Are, are stronger than us now. Oh, they'll join my confederation, though. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I did it. Oh, we're taking attrition. Why? Oh, because they're infighting. Is there any armies up here? Enemy, enemy armies? Oh yeah, all of their, all of their forces are up here. Apparently, they were having some problems with. Uh, people fighting each other. Wait a minute, what can you recruit? Oh, I can't check. You had a lot of buildings though. Alright, but that's that's one tribe that we confederated with, so that means um, we're one step closer to winning. Oh no, I'm being cornered. Charge bonus for everybody. Not really what I needed. Also, he's right on the re reinforcement range, of course. So he'd be reinforced by, oh, what do you know, like five great swords. Holy Jesus Christ. Let's just get out of here. Alright. Um, oh, and there's an army up here next to these guys now. That's not good. Oh, Middenheim is right here. Oh, shit. Let me guess, like, all of these places... Yeah, it's a... Oh, my God. Why are there so many... See, they just built city watches in all of their places. That sucks. It's going to be really hard to get rid of them. Oh. That's not a very good army, but it's Boris. Yeah, he'd be a real bastard to try to kill. And that's the thing. The army would be super easy to get rid of, but killing him wouldn't be. Um, let's try it. Can Grook prove himself against Boris? Probably not. They have three melee units. I mean, against all of this, I don't think Boris will destroy the entire army by himself, so let's try it. No point in trying to run away from that. If we could wound Boris, that'd be lovely. That bastard. It's him again. Our second encounter. Only the first time was with, uh... <laughs> the first time was with Kazrak, and I wasn't really paying attention, so I didn't notice that it was him. Mainly because he has Master of the Court as his name, which is dumb. Which is really dumb. The AI changed his name. I don't like.
But yeah, uh, we have five units of archers. We should be okay. The five units of archers can kill the uh, handgunners and, and crossbowmen pretty easily. And then all of that infantry should be able to overpower um, what the enemy has. And our warhounds can take out the enemy mortars. All in theory, of course. All in theory. Because we might go into this and just get absolutely slaughtered. Because we are using pretty much all ungores. There's two units of gores, that's it. So I don't know. And the swords, that one unit of swordsmen will probably get like 70 something kills. That's usually what they get. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, the war warhounds can start wherever. So I'll put them over here. Actually, a lot of the army can start wherever, but I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, let's make it like that. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so are there mortars in the back? They are. So let's see if we can mess them up. Alright, there they go. They're starting to fire, so that means they're going to be uh, undefended. I mean, the wizard's there with them, but that won't stop the warhounds. Oh, the mortars are raining down, killing a lot of guys. But we should be fine. We should be fine. Well, of course they randomly disappeared, so all my archers were messed up. Whoa, that mortar just got destroyed. Look at that. Holy cow, warhounds are really good against mortars, apparently. Jesus. Oh, well, that was awesome. All right. Is that Boris in there? Yeah, it is. Let's take a look at him. There he is with his stupid castle helmet. He does look, he does look pretty cool, though. Yeah, so that is Boris. That is the man himself. Yeah, see, look how much mortars account for their chance of winning. We destroyed just the mortars, and look at that. Crazy. Alright, so we got this. Which is good. Oh, that poor wizard. He's like, no, please. Victory is in our grasp. I am not stopping this battle until Boris is wounded. Because I don't want to see his stupid face any ever again. Yeah, we're messing up their army pretty nicely. But again, I don't want to stop until it's like completely destroyed. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so he's gone. Let's take out Boris. These guys are holding on pretty well. Look at the oh, look at the circle of blood around them. Nice. Alright, so that's the enemy army retreating. There we go. But yeah, I'm not stopping until Boris is dead, so. Wounded. I mean, I wish I could kill him, but nope. Wow, he's tough. Yeah, get all the archers to chase after him and shoot him as well. Don't feel like I'll be able to kill him. Well, I mean, I will eventually, but it's going to take absolutely bloody ages, isn't it? Because his health, like, is hardly going down. Oh, never mind. It's going down a lot now. Okay. As his health goes goes down, it seems like it's uh, it drops faster. 
All right, so we will get him. It's just going to take a while. But yeah, I want to make sure that he's wounded. I don't want to have to deal with him anymore. Well, I, I, wanna, I don't want to have to deal with him for a few turns at least. All right. So yeah, and this and then this war herd is free to do whatever as well, so that's good. All right, let's see if we can get the archers to shoot at them. It seems like archers are the best at killing retreating heroes. Come on, he's getting away. Stop him. Oh, he better not get away. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm making you guys watch this, but I want to make sure that he's wounded. I mean, I could just auto-resolve another battle against him after, but that's no fun. And I've seen Legendary Lords survive for, like, ever, if you try to do that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I, gu I guess he died. I hope so. He better have. Yeah, he did. Only 13 guys survived that battle. Good. 107 kills on one of the Warhound units. Holy cow. I think I might have to get Warhounds. Because <laughs> they're they're godlike apparently against the enemy artillery. And that's what I've been that's what I've been having the most trouble with is the fucking Luminarchs and the uh, the mortars. So maybe I'll have to get Kazrak a couple of units of Warhounds. I don't know. But yeah, again, sorry that you guys watched that, but yeah. But yeah. Yes, oh, Swordsman, 133 kills. Damn, I said like 70, but <laughs> they definitely got a lot more than that. And the Spearman, without shields, getting 107. Interesting. Very interesting. Grook almost dying because he was fighting Boris. But yeah, he's wounded now, so that's good. That's good. We don't have to worry much about him for a while. Not that I was really worried about him anyway. He's not, he wasn't like the strongest guy in the world. He was really damn hard to kill, though, apparently. But yeah. At least he's gone now for a while. All right. I'm sorry that this is taking a while as well. There we go. All right, so we killed him. There we go. Not killed, wounded. I keep saying that. Oh my god, but there's like two more armies right up there. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Gruck leveled up, I think. That's good. Alright, you need to get your men back. Oh, you haven't upgraded yourself at all. Oh, crap. Maybe that's why you were so crappy. So what can you recruit? Oh, jeez, you have access to like everything. Oh. Oh. I might get you some minotaurs then. Hmm. He has access to good stuff. And yeah, I can actually recruit a lot of stuff as well. So yeah, um Get rid of like one unit of archers. Ah, uh, no. but the thing is, I don't know, there's a there's another like full army here, so I don't know if I want to stick around. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll get him some minotaurs anyway, we'll see if he can survive. But yeah, so we're losing a lot of money now, but, um, oh well. So let's, let's try to get down here to raise this place, I guess. Yeah, we're going to need to use the beast path. Nope, Middenheim's not trying to attack Rook, so that's good. Oh! Oh! Shit, the Brayherd army is fighting. Uh-oh. I don't want to lose them. I, I completely forgot about them, honestly. 
Uh, we don't need to okay. replenish anymore, so... Ah, oh, shit. Sigma forbids this. There he is, the bugger. Alright. Yeah, we have almost everything leveled up, <laughs> so... Um, I guess we'll just start double up upgrading spells and stuff. Alright, so hopefully they don't attack Grok. Because I don't want him to be attacked, basically. We could upgrade that so he could start recruiting Bestigors as well. But honestly, I don't think we need to do that right now. What we really need is our, our upkeep to not be so high. Oh, you bastard. Occupying that town. Oh! I got a, another army, that's why. Well, shit, I didn't know that. Oh my, okay. Interesting. I, I didn't realize this army was here at all. Like, if, the, if they got engaged in a battle, I never would have even noticed. Alright, this place doesn't have walls. It has a little bit of a garrison adding on to it. And then there's this army. Oh, and that's... I don't know if I want to attack it. Maybe I'll just siege him out. I mean, it would... It does say I have a good chance, but, uh... How long until they take attrition? Oh, next turn. Okay, awesome. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, well, I didn't realize I had another full army. That could, That would explain why my upkeep went up so much. Um. No, I don't want my. Yeah, recruitment costs. I don't care about that. All right, but yeah, we can keep all of these armies together, and we'll be like unstoppable. Hmm, I could raise that quickly if I ran over there. Anyway. Oh no. Alright, so this place should be pretty messed up. I refuse. Yep. That's right, you bastard. That's what you deserve. You don't even deserve to have a fair fight. Good. Alright. So we could get apocalyptic vision. That sounds cool. Make monstrous beasts better, and there we go. Oh, we have a gold chevron Bestigor herd. That's nice. Can you get through here? Oh, you can. Alright, it'd be nice to get rid of these two places as well with our hordes. So let's go. Um, so up here, I could attack this place. I don't know if I'd be able to win. I don't think I would. But actually, I don't know. I don't know. If the if the game will be nice and let me auto resolve. But yeah, we're gonna continue moving here, and they're messing up that army, which is a bit annoying. All right, we finished that research. Good. Oh. His fury is down a little bit. Shadow Gore War Herd encountered. All right. Impress the Shadow Gore tribe. Old Rook. I could do that. Yeah, to you too. Um, but yeah, I mean, Middenheim is pretty messed up. I'm overpowering them now, so that's good. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna lose a lot, but, uh, 24,000, yes. I will most certainly take that. Um, yeah, let's get his upkeep down. There we go, we're not losing nearly as much money now. And then that was also raised, so that's awesome. Uh, I might send Grook. 
Grux Warherd to take out uh, Fort Solace. I think that's what I'm going to do because we do need to take that out eventually. So yeah, how's our victory looking now? We need to raise thirty, uh, four more places, get a little bit more money. Wait, what? He's not. He's not wounded. I will not obey. Is he back? Oh, I have ended quite a few turns actually. So never mind. Um, get your upkeep down because your guys are expensive as shit. You have low bestial rage. Yes, you do. It's kind of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I'll quell the animosity. Um, so this place is a full, like, full-on capital. Um, but I can take it very easily. All right, there we go. Oh, so much more money again. Yes. There we go. The slaughterer's call. Nice. I like the sound of that. All right, good. Uh, so yeah, Grook's army is going to start heading for uh, Force solace or whatever it's called and yeah oh a full Middenheim army hello at Lear so we might we might have an epic battle on our hands not likely oh it's Boris again does this place have walls god damn it well, we could have had an epic battle, but no, instead, he's gonna hide in that settlement and never come out. And there's no way that I can attack that and win. Or maybe I could, but, you know, I'd lose so much stuff. Alright, let's start replenishing. Um, so this army over here. But yeah, once we raise this place, um, it'll just be, you know, we won't have to worry about it anymore. But yeah, it's going good. Going very good. Oh, Boris ran away because he's a little puss. Alright, good. Sober for once. All right. So yeah, we'll quickly uh, take Lear. Um, we'll get this guy up here too. There we go. So yeah, uh, actually, you know what? In the next episode, I'll start the I'll start the episode with the Battle of Lear. How about that? Because you know, it's a bit more of a fair garrison. Um, it's actually fun to fight against these guys. So uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, guys, that's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below as always. And if you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be more coming out every uh, every day or so. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.